So it all started with him. So this is a Kamen Rider Converge figure. These are a line of candy toy figures released in Japan that are only a couple hundred yen a piece that are basically, I wouldn't say that they're like Funko Pops, but they're kind of just like a little like chibi stylized figure of Kamen Riders that come with these little bases that just kind of peg into the feet. And they look nice. I like them a lot. Like I said, they're stylized in the fact that they have these giant heads and they have a little bit of articulation where you can just move the arms up and down like that. And that's pretty much it. So right here I have one for Kamen Riders in Getsu Kachidoki Arms, uh, which I got a couple of years ago. And like I said, this is where it all started. So I got one of these because at the time, pretty much the only representation you could get of this form was a really expensive figure art and this. There's now since been a Soto figure of it, which I also have in my collection, which is kind of my more accurate or better representation of it that I would like to have. However, um, for some reason recently, I started to get really into these and I bought a lot of them. So for a, a long period of time, I just had one, right? Just, just one. And then a couple years ago, I also had gotten a Gate. Uh, I was like Gates Gates one uh, from Geo, which I don't know where his stand is right now, but it's it's somewhere. So I had thrown in into a Mandarake box a couple years ago for like a couple hundred yen, right? So I don't know why, you know, just just had uh, just had Gates, but you know, there's that. So I had two of them, right? Not not, not too crazy whatsoever. Um, however, uh, let's uh, let's see here. So uh, recently, I had a very 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 giant Bai box, uh, very giant. And, uh, I have more than two of them now, I can at least say that. And uh, this has only been possible because of today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor is Bai. What is Bai? Well, they are one of the leading Japanese proxy shopping services that you can use to get tokusatsu items and many many other things from sites that don't typically ship outside of Japan, such as Yahoo Japan Auctions, Mercari, and Rakuten. It is super easy to use, all you have to do is search for the items that you're looking for, and then you can have Bai bid on the item, or outright buy it for you from the different stores, and have them hold it in their warehouse to up to 30 days. Then, once you're ready to ship, you can combine a number of different packages into one big box, and ship it out to you. I partnered with Bai plenty of times in the past, and they have been a huge help in finishing many different collections of my Tokusatsu toys. So if you would like to sign up for Bai, brand new users can get a 2000 yen coupon off their first purchase if they sign up in the link in the description below. And a huge thanks to Bai for sponsoring this video. I didn't pay anything more than like $5 per one of these, so I don't even know where to start. Uh, we're just gonna, I guess we'll start with this one, this bag that was ripped open on the top here. And uh, I honestly don't even remember how many Converge figures I'll have by the end of this. And uh, who knows how long or how often I'm going to try to dive into this. Uh, these sets come out every couple of months. Uh, there is a current set up for pre-order right now, I believe, that has like Buffa and stuff like that from Geats. I think they come out like three times a year or something like that. There are premium sets every once in a while. There's a bunch of premium sets for Revice. Uh, and these have been a thing since I think 2016. And they seem to be reasonably comprehensive. We get some... I wouldn't say obscure stuff in it, but they do sometimes do Visanex stuff. They, as you saw, did Kachidoki Zengetsu. So they kind of do, you know, dive into other forms and different things like that. And I think it's, I don't know, just going to be a cool little line to collect just for the fun of it. I, I like how tiny they are and how they, like, look on a shelf. And uh, they're pretty cool. So, the first one we had today, this one actually does have his box. So let's see here. Who did I get this time? Wait, is that a vinyl? That's not that's not a converged figure. Hold on. Oh no. It, it looks <laughs> it looked like a vinyl because it was like stacked like this, so it looked taller than it was, but well so this one actually had the gum, so I don't know, maybe I will get the boxes for some of these. It's it's very confusing. Uh, but I know this was a haul of them. I don't remember what set these were from. However, this is Kamen Rider Vice Rex Genome, which was number 132. And Jin Burning Falcon, which I can still see the gum is in there on that one. So very weird uh, where some of them I got the boxes back and some of them I did not. So maybe I was wrong. Maybe the boxes are in some of these. But 132, and then we had 134, which was Jin Burning Falcon. So here they are. They come with a little piece of gum, as you saw. And they just come in these little baggies. 
as you can see also very tiny little boxes so these are perfect i always throw these in or i i guess i will now be throwing these in uh, to like different mandarake orders and body orders and such like that because uh, i really really do like them quite a bit so let's go ahead and take a look at Jin burning falcon and like they captured the detail pretty good with the compound eyes and the paint all of them still just have the arm movements as the only articulation they don't have head rotation uh, but you can just take them and you can attach the little stand to them and there you go so that is now my third one for my collection and they also have a really nice consistency to them you know like the same they're the same height even though they've been going for years the stands are the same they're going to look nice on a shelf if you just have a ton of these and since they are numbered whenever i do get the boxes for them it's going to be very tempting uh, to continue to collect them as much as possible so here's another one there and i just like i said i just kind of got some random ones uh, this one actually has a little bit of assembly because i can see we have uh, vice's little tail here so let's try to get that out of the baggie so that's going to clip in yeah right there so he does have a little bit of assembly but there is vice in his rex genome because uh yeah it was just a random haul here that had gin and vice so i was kind of some of them i was looking for specific ones and other ones i was just kind of looking for cheap ones uh so let's see what we got in this one i think there was only like one or two where i got the entire set hey look at that so we have this one is right there and this one this one this one and this one so that is is that five more is that how numbers work yeah five more of them so we're going to kind of just blast through this here uh, there is a lot of him here today so i think this is a complete set uh, so what, 112, 113, 114, 115, and 116. So obviously this one is a very saber focused set uh, with, or I was gonna say Elemental Dragon, this is actually Crimson Saber. Uh, we have Blades, Caliber, 01 Metal Cluster Hopper, and Vulcan Rampage, or Rampage Vulcan. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut to all of these being assembled right now. And there we are. So here are the five of them assembled. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So we have Crimson Saber which is sculpted very nicely. It's pretty much just all primarily red, but they have the nice metallic pieces and like some different shades and stuff in there, which I really do appreciate that detail. Then we have Comrade Blades, just in his basic Lion Senki base form, which also looks very good. So like they are incredibly well painted uh, for their scale and everything like that, and for their price point. And due to the fact they only come out like three sets a year, this is definitely a little new collectible line that I want to get into. So here's Comrade Caliber, with his base form, Jaku Dragon. And I like the, the, the he has the uh, Kyokukuken Kurayami uh, holstered in there, which is really nice. And then here's my favorite Zero One form, Metal Cluster Hopper, done up in a very nice metallic silver paint, which I think just looks really sharp. And then also from Zero One, we have Vulcan's final form, Rampage Vulcan, which has a beautiful sculpt in there to get all those animals in there. So very, very nice. So I really wish that my uh, I had my gates stand there, but we are continuing to grow the little line back here. So we're just going to kind of create a whole little army of figures back there. Uh, let's see, what do we have next? Uh, let's just see uh, who's in this envelope here. This one was... Alright, so it looks like we have Kamen Rider Durandal up here next. So continuing the Saber. I got a lot of Saber ones, I guess. I uh, also got a little bent there at the top, but I adore the Durandal suit. It's one of my favorite Reiwa era suits that we've had thus far. And it looks really good here. I'm glad to finally have some sort of representation of it in my collection. So there is that. So I think Saber might have the most ones today. Because uh, that is what, the fifth or fourth Saber one? Yeah, so we have four Saber ones. Uh, we have three zero one ones and one Revice one. So let's see what we have next. All right, let's go back to some Gaim ones, or I guess a Gaim one. So we have another little haul of two of them here, which we thankfully have the boxes for. So we have number 84 and 78. So 84 here is Kamen Rider Zangetsu, and these ones are completely sealed. So there's the little gum candies. I don't care for the gum, like, whatsoever. It's just I'm not a fan of that taste of it. I also just don't really eat gum. I prefer whenever these have the little like sunflower lemon candies like other candy toy stuff has, but I digress. We have right here 
which this one has a cardboard back to it, which is interesting. But to go with Gates back there, who I always, every time I have to say his name now, I have to try to not say Gates by accident. So <laughs> thanks, Gates, uh, for ruining Gates. So you have this little piece of cardboard that we'll throw away. And we have Common Rider Waz. Which I really like how the design of that one looks here with the paint and stuff there. So we have Waz. And then to continue our, or to kind of go with the very first one that I ever got, so it's a nice little uh, bookend to that, we have Kamen Rider Zangetsu in his regular melon arms, which is another gorgeous suit. Done up in this line as well with all the textured up details on the melon arms. Looks very solid. So there is Zangetsu. Next up, Oh man, I didn't get the boxes for any of these ones, unfortunately. I wish that I had, but we have the, uh, this is, I think, a complete set. Yeah, so this is actually where we're going to kind of dive into the, um, another aspect of these. And that is there are secret rares. So sometimes there is a box of them where you can, like, sometimes you open the character and it's a different version of that character, but they don't advertise it. I think one of the upcoming sets actually is going to have a secret in it. But a perfect example of that is that uh, right here we have Decayed Complete, right? You could also have opened the box and potentially have gotten this one, uh, Decayed Complete 21. So that's one example. Uh, this set had another example with it, where you had Thouser right here. Or you could have also gotten Zaya. So, when you won't know until you open them up. So, unless you buy them secondhand like I did. So, that's a cool one. Uh, I, I think that's kind of a neat thing. It's kind of annoying, but at least it's usually only one character that has that kind of thing. And also, not every single wave does it. So, there's that too. So we'll go ahead and start. And usually it's because it's just something that can do a repaint or a slight remold to. So here's Thouser, right there, to join our Zero One collection. And to go with him, we have his repaint from the Visa Next film. So this is a good example of a Visa Next form uh, showing up in this line. We have Common Rider Zaya, right here. And since they don't have the progress keys painted, you could also technically pretend that this is Black Thouser from the Genmu special on TTFC. It really could be either or. It's, it's advertised to be Zaya, I believe, though, so at least that's the intention. Uh, Saber is going to continue here. We have another Saber form. Uh, one of my least favorite Saber forms, actually. I don't care for this form too particularly much, but this is Saber in his Elemental Dragon form. Personally, I just prefer Primitive Dragon, but I just think this one is a little too busy with everything that's going on here with the colors, but it is captured very nicely in this figure. Gotta give it that, so we have that one. Uh, continuing from Saber, once again, we have Kamen Rider Espada in his base form. So that's two of the main three riders in their base forms. So there is him with the uh, Lampto Alangina Wonder Ride book. So there he is. Now, next up, we have Decayed. And just his regular, or not Decayed, regular, Decayed, regular complete. Which I really like. But even though they're not going to get the nice details of all the cards on there, because it's just so tiny, they did paint a little bit of the one on the top. That's a nice little detail. You know, because, you know, you, you can only do so much at the scale and the price point that these are. So there is Decayed complete. And then I'm really happy that TTFC forms can get representation in here. So we have this wild form from the Geo versus Decay special that was exclusive to that streaming service. And that is the absolutely wonderfully stupid <laughs> Decayed Complete Form 21 with the cape and the Zero Two card up there and all the cards there. Love that a lot. They even sculpted in there all the cards that are on the cape. There's a little line sculpted in there, which is excellent, excellent detail. And then finally from this set, this is like kind of a dual one because Saikyo's base form in the show is just a sword. He's, he's literally just a sword. Then he becomes a person when he gets his upgrade. So here's technically Saikyo in his base form. And then here is his... All right, he was the obligatory Toku Topics. I drop it on the shelf or off the shelf for the video. So here's his ex-swordman form. And this is actually a hand that you plug in. It's not just, it's not supposed to just be like the sword standing there. So it's very rare that they have like weapons and stuff, but in this case, I think it makes a lot of sense. 
So here is the really, really nicely painted, by the way. I love all the colors on him. Psycho X Swordsman. So that's just once again, even though I don't like Saber all that much, I've gotten a lot of Saber today. These come from a Mandarake order. These were not from the Bayi box, but I figured might as well show them off here today. So we have one, two, three, four, five more of them. So, and this will be the end of it for today's video. So let's go ahead and start with one of the earliest ones. This is number, if I can get this sticker off the box carefully. This is number five in the entire line. And I see I paid 300 yen for this. So as you can see, they're pretty cheap. Uh, even though this is one of the ones that came out in 2016. So you can still go through the line. And as you can see here, this set had Kuga, uh, the, Kuga, some one of the Grongi, Fies, Kaiza, and this one, which is the Ark Orphanok from Fies. So, which, ooh, okay. I guess back then they did not have the black stands. I lied that that was a consistent thing, because right here, he clearly has this thing as the stand. It's like this clear stand, which honestly looks like it's kind of like yellowed from just existing, which is kind of crazy because it's been sealed in this box. But we have, if I can actually take it out of there, I love already the weathered detail that this thing has. Look at that. That's really, really slick. So that is one of the first ones from the first set. And I think the way that it's working, how does this work for, for this stand? So I think you're supposed to kind of clip that to the end in there between the legs like that and kind of have them stand. So. Eh, it's fine. I still definitely prefer the black stands more, although to be honest, the black stands do take up a lot of space. That's definitely the case, so... I can't open it. There we go. So, I, I don't know. I, th I think it's kind of a mixed bag. It looks like I got a couple from the set that had uh, Gates in it. Ah, I did it. Gates in it. So, because uh, this one is number 74, I think. And I have at least one other one from this set in this haul. But we have Common Rider Spectre in his base form. So here's Spectre here, which I really like how they got that clear plastic look there. I think they captured that nicely. And the whole just matte black that he has all around him is a really nice detail. And the Ghost Driver, I like how that's done uh, as well. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab the next Ghost one here, because I had one other Ghost one. And that is the Mugen Damashi, the final form of Kamen Rider Ghost. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. So this is another one that has a little bit of assembly required. That's because you have to plug in the little horn on the top of Mugen. So there is that. But I love the rainbow paint effect that it has going on there. Really good. So we'll go ahead and grab his stand and place it on there like so. And we'll put him in the front because we're almost done. I really wish I was recording that because I see right here, I bought Chalice, right? I opened it up and it was the rare. It was the secret rare, which is actually not Chalice, but is the Joker Undead. Well, I really should have recorded that. <laughs> My bad. So, here is the rare Joker Undead, which is definitely a much uh, a more advanced rare than just being like a repaint or something. Because, like, look at all the detail on this guy. That looks really sick. So that's a really cool alternate version of Chalice. And, you know, I'm wondering, because I have one last box here, and this is another one that has a rare as an option, uh, you can either get Grease, or you can get Grease, uh, what is it, Grease Blizzard. So, honestly, I would prefer to get Grease Blizzard, because I love that form. But let's see, who are we going to get in this set? Uh, it's just regular Grease. <laughs> so, it's just regular Grease in there. Uh, but it was really cool to get the rare, uh, at least, you know, as, because you know, the listing said Chalice. It didn't say Joker Undead, so that's pretty cool. So let's grab him here. This is another one that's going to have a little bit of assembly with a tiny bit of his horn. And, of course, we have our stand. Alright, so here is Grease, which his face definitely gets very lost in the translucent plastic there, but I get what they're going for, but the eyes really get lost in there. So we'll go ahead and put him on the stand, like all of the other ones. And there is Common Rider Grease. And that is going to do it. So that is it for my Comrade Converge haul today, so let's kind of reposition everything and kind of clean it all up. Okay, so with that, that is the current status of my Comrade Converge collection. So we went from having two of them today, 
I tend to have having what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times 321, 22, 23, 24 of them. So we went from two to 24. So that was a whole of additionally 22 more. So we had uh, what we had, we had how many from zero one? One, two, three, three from zero one, I think, or four, five, sorry. One from Gaim, one from Geo, one, two, three, four, five, six from Saber, two from Ghost, one from Fies, one from Build, two from Decayed, and one from Blade. So definitely all over the place there. Definitely a very big uh, selection of them. Uh, but I really like this line quite a bit, and I thought this was kind of a cool little video or a fun little video to kind of put together as I kind of dived into this brand new line, so or kind of dived into this new line for me. So let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of Comrade Converge? Do you collect these? Had you even heard of them before this video? If you do collect them, which ones do you have? Which forms and riders do you want to see them make that they haven't yet? And anything else about them down in the comments below, I want to hear about it. I definitely intend on getting more of these guys, and maybe I'll do some other unboxing videos of them in the future if anybody's interested in that. And Maybe if I like pre-order a set or something like that, we could take a look at them on the channel. I think that'd be kind of fun. Uh, but that's going to do it. So, of course, until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LivingRangerKey or LandingFigPR. Once again, before we wrap it up here, this video would not have been possible without today's sponsor, Baiyi. So, huge, huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video and helping me get these so I can show them off in a video. And until next time, I will see you all later. To wrap up this video, I'd like to thank my $5 and above patrons, Jurassic Samurai, Maggot Alchemist, Robert Browning, Static Thunder, Brendan Oberland, Maji Yellow, MCPC Studios, Comics 1017, James Darty, John Luke, Eric Berry, Tyler Bozetsky, Matthew Thorne, Josh Landry, Pyramidus, CBT Tesla, Cross SCV, Caboose Ed, Socket Monsters, Anthony Love, Daniel Pika, Hella Geo, Thrasher, Jesus Prime, Uni Warrior Thomas, and Lewis Carnes. You can support Toku Topics for as little as $1 a month on my Patreon, linked in the description below.